So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a DIY that can help with hair growth as well as reduce hair fall. If you are interested in this video, then please stay tuned. So the main ingredient that you're going to need for this DIY is going to be half a cup of red clover blossoms. A red clover blossom is a flowering plant that grows 15 to 40 centimeters high. It's eaten as a legume and used in supplements marketed for female health. Also, red clovers contain chemicals called phytoestrogens that are similar to the hormone estrogen. The benefits of red clover are that it is known to help smooth, soften, and add volume to the hair. But most importantly, it supports the anchoring of hair fibers into the scalp, supporting the hair growth cycle by maintaining the structure of the hair follicles all of which contribute to reduce hair fall. Red clover is beneficial for all hair types and with regular use of red clover in hair care has been shown to promote healthy hair growth, soothe inflammation and scalp conditions and leave hair smooth and shiny. Also, red clover has become a popular ingredient found in shampoos and hair treatments to help support hair health. In fact, research has shown that red clover may help increase hair growth for those experience hair loss due to alopecia. And that is because red clover acts as a natural DHT blocker. DHT prevents nutrients from being absorbed by the hair follicles, which causes them to shrink, which then causes hair thinning and hair loss. So now I'm just going to take the red clover blossoms and place them into a mason jar. I'm just going to take one cup of olive oil and I'm going to place that into the mason jar with the red clovers. You can use any carrier oil that you would like. Olive oil contains proteins, antioxidants, and antimicrobial properties that are beneficial for healthy hair growth. Also, with overtime use, treating your hair with olive oil will help to strengthen your hair follicles, increase the lifespan of each hair, and make it seem like your hair is growing more quickly. Then I'm going to shake up the jar just a little bit just to make sure that all the red clovers are saturated in the olive oil. Next, I'm going to be placing the mason jar into a pot of warm water. The stove is set in between medium to low heat, which is about 100 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you choose not to do the stove option, you can also do the same method using a crock pot. And then also, if you choose not to use heat whatsoever, you can also do the cold infusion process, which is you'll just leave the mason jar on a countertop or in a cabinet, and you'll just let it infuse for about two to four weeks. So now I'm going to place the mason jar into the warm water. As you can see, the water isn't boiling whatsoever. So make sure when you place the mason jar into the warm water, it's not boiling or on a very high temperature. Um, like I said, the water is in between 100 to 140 degrees. Um, everybody's temperature setting might be different on their stove or crock pot. So that's why I'm giving you guys the degrees. So after about two hours, I went ahead and removed the mason jar from the warm water and I let it cool down. Now, if you want, you can have the infusion process be longer than two hours. Um, I would suggest not going over five hours. So 
So now I'm just going to strain the oil so that way I could place the oil into an applicator bottle so that way it's easier to apply to the hair. You can use this oil several different ways. Um, one way that you can use it is by adding a couple of teaspoons of it into your favorite deep conditioner and then applying the conditioner all over your hair. Let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour or however long you keep your deep conditioner in and then rinse out as usual. Or you can place the oil all over your hair and scalp as a hot oil treatment and then just let it sit on your hair for about 30 minutes and then you can shampoo it out and also you can use it as a scalp oil just apply it all over your scalp like you would do any hair growth oil um, you can use it two to three times a week also make sure that you do a patch test on your skin so that way you can ensure that you won't get any irritations on your scalp also the last way that you can use this oil is by using it as a sealant so after you applied a leave-in cream or butter or um, maybe a leave-in spray you could go ahead and use this oil to seal in the moisture the shelf life of this oil is about 8 to 12 months make sure that you keep it in a dry cool area of your home So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find it informative. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out crayolily.com. Our Art of Veda hair growth butter does contain red clover blossom. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.